you literally couldn't have got me on a more of a high. I was right. Ah! So the other week, um, this news story came out, and it first started on Facebook, then kind of got picked up by the gay media and everything like that, and it went through all the usual channels of spreading this story around, right? So. This teenager from Blackpool claimed that he was the victim of a homophobic attack and as soon as I saw this post shared by one of my friends on Facebook, I called bullshit and you can ask my followers on Twitter, I was out there and said, this is bullshit. Like, don't believe a single word of it, it's just not true. So the story goes that he'd been on a night out or out drinking by himself and while walking through Blackpool uh, he says, I think it was, was it one or two people came across him and literally just attacked him because of his sexuality. Um, and then of course the picture that you see in front of you at the moment is uh, the picture that was taken and was put everywhere because you know that was to represent this homophobic attack and everything like that but certain things didn't add up for me I mean like if I can just ask you this question if you've just been the victim of an attack like that would the first thing that you would do be to go home and take a picture and do a massive rant about it on Facebook I don't think that is something that you would do, would you? You would probably go to the hospital or the emergency room, something like that. You would get yourself sorted first. Then you would probably contact the police because, you know, you've been the victim of an assault. You need to report that shit, right? Then, of course, then you may go onto Facebook and start doing all these posts and everything like that. But, you see, that isn't what happened in this case, is it? So what has happened here is that he's gone home, he's taken the picture and put it on Facebook and instantly jumped to this being a homophobic attack, like, straight away. And the thing is, if you're going to do a massive post like there was on his Facebook and you're going to claim that it's a homophobic attack, you're going to put something in there to kind of back up your claim. You're going to say, this is what they were saying this is how they knew my sexuality or this is how they presumed it or something like that but he didn't do that it was just a case of straight away oh it's a homophobic attack and everyone bought it up like there wasn't one person oh no hang on there was one person on my twitter that turned around and actually said yeah this doesn't add up and you know he was he was onto something because i think my what did he say now i can't remember what it was that he said he asked something about it and I was like, this is what I don't get either, you know? And there was just loads of aspects that didn't add up. But, you know, you ask these people who shared this picture and shared the news story and everything like that, and they will instantly jump to the thing of, it was a really homophobic attack and, you know, you shouldn't be criticising and blah, blah, blah. In fact, even TV's very own Matt Lucas got in touch with me on Twitter and said... How do you know it's not a homophobic attack? But there was too much for me that wasn't adding up. So I kind of knew straight away. The news has come out today that indeed he just fell over. This wasn't a homophobic attack at all. I call absolute bullshit on him straight away. So this Richard Kennedy, whatever his name is, who's 18 years old and from Blackpool, is a complete bullshitter. He's a loser. He wanted his 15 minutes of fame and he fucking got it. He's an absolute wanker. That's just all as I can describe him as. Because the first thing he did was to jump to this homophobic attack. I call bullshit on it. One or two other people did on the internet, but everyone else ate this shit up. Do you know what, people? Do some fucking research before you look into these, uh, before you go and publicise all of these cases. Because in my case, I looked into it for a couple of minutes and called bullshit. And do you know what? I was fucking right to do so.